So tonight our worship helper is Erica Mork. And uh, Erica, can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me, Mary? Can you hear me? It's working. Awesome. <laughs> well, again, welcome everybody to our Wednesday evening, uh, Wednesday evening, evening prayer worship service. Um, uh, I'm broadcasting uh, from uh, my dining room table, and I hope you all are doing well as you shelter in place uh, here in Montana. Um, tonight's evening prayer service is, uh, is just the simple uh, traditional format of evening prayer, uh, a non-musical version of it. We're going to be speaking the words of it. Um, it includes prayer, and it includes the, the scripture readings appointed for today. Uh, so I encourage you to uh, just take this time uh, to, to settle in peace and uh, to allow God to be with you as you um, enter the close of this day. Um, and again, like I mentioned on Sunday, if you can bring a candle uh, to your place of prayer uh, to light to remind you that this is a sacred time, I think that's a good idea too. That's something that I'll be doing um, near the beginning of the service as we thank God for the gift of light. Um, a couple of things as we begin. <clears throat> First of all, tonight is the last Wednesday evening prayer service of the season of Lent. <clears throat> Next week is Holy Week, beginning with Palm Sunday. Uh, there will be Maundy Thursday and Good Friday, and we will have something uh, here on Facebook, uh, Facebook Live uh, for those services. Uh, Maundy, Thur Maundy Thursday's service will be... Um, a simple prayer service. Uh, Good Friday's service will actually be a, a service that's being put together by uh, several other ELCA clergy in the Flathead area. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, of course, we don't quite know yet when we're going to be able to reopen for public worship uh, in our building. Um, so we're just, I just encourage you all to wait and, and be patient. Keep on checking your email. As Lent comes to a close, if any of you were saving coins for ELCA World Hunger, um, we can still receive your donations for ELCA World Hunger. Uh, simply deposit the money and then uh, send a check uh, to the church, and we'll make sure that it gets to ELCA World Hunger. So thank you for that. Um, it, we'd love for you to be able to take part in the service tonight by, by joining us, reading the congregation's part. Um, so I did email out to those who I have email addresses for in the congregation a uh, document you can use. Uh, there's also one that I've uploaded to, uh, that there's a link for on the Facebook Live page that you can, so you can take a look at that. So I encourage you to participate. Uh, but let us begin. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. The light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us, Lord, for it is evening. And the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness. And illumine your church. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. <clears throat> Let us pray. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning you called light into being, and you set light in the sky to govern night and day. In a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night, you led your people into freedom. Enlighten our darkness by the light of your Christ. May your word be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. For you are merciful and you love your whole creation, and with all your creatures, we give you glory through your son, Jesus Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. 
Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Please join us in the psalmody, Psalm 141. You will begin in the bold print. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. O Lord, I call to you. Come to me quickly. Hear my voice when I cry to you. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Set a watch before my mouth, O Lord, and guard the door of my lips. Let not my heart incline to any evil thing. Let me not be off. Do I have the right thing? Let Yes, let, let not my heart incline to any evil thing. Let me not be occupied in wickedness with evildoers. But all my eyes are turned to you, Lord God. In you I take refuge. Strip me out of my life. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. <clears throat> the first lesson for tonight comes from the 32nd chapter of Jeremiah. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord in the 10th year of King Zedekiah of Judah, which was the 18th year of Nebuchadnezzar. At that time, the army of the king of Babylon was besieging Jerusalem, and the prophet Jeremiah was confined in the court of the guard that was in the palace of the king of Judah, where King Zedekiah of Judah had confined him. Zedekiah had said, why do you prophesy and say, thus says the Lord, I am going to give this city into the hand of the king of Babylon, and he shall take it. King Zedekiah of Judah shall not escape out of the hands of the Chaldeans, but shall surely be given into the hands of the king of Babylon, and shall speak with him face to face, and see him eye to eye. And he shall take Zedekiah to Babylon, and there he shall remain until I attend to him, says the Lord. Though you fight against the Chaldeans, you shall not succeed. Jeremiah said, the word, of the word of the Lord came to me. Hannah Mel, son of your uncle Shalom, is going to come to you and say, but my field that is at Anathoth for the right of redemption by purchase is yours. Then my cousin Hannah Mel came to me in the court of the guard in accordance with the word of the Lord and said to me, by my field that is at Anathoth in the land of Benjamin, for the right of possession and redemption is yours. Buy it for yourself. Then I knew that this was the word of the Lord, and I bought the field at Anathoth from my cousin Hanamel and weighed out the money to him, 17 shekels of silver. Now, therefore, thus says the Lord, the God, the God of Israel, concerning this city of which you say, it is being given into the hand of the king of Babylon by the sword, by famine, and by pestilence. See, I am going to gather them from all the lands to which I drove them in my anger and my wrath and in great indignation. I will bring them back to this place, and I will settle them in safety. They shall be my people, and I will be their God. I will give them one heart, and one way that they may fear me for all time, for their own good and the good of their children after them. I will make an everlasting covenant with them, never to draw back from doing good to them. And I will put the fear of me in their hearts so that they may not turn from me. I will rejoice in doing good to them, and I will plant them in this land in faithfulness with all my heart and all my soul. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Please join me in reading responsively Psalm 143. That will be the bold print for you. Lord, hear my prayer, and in your faithfulness, heed my supplications. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant. For in your sight shall no one living be justified. For my enemy has sought my life. He has crushed me to the ground. He has made me live in dark places like those who are long dead. My spirit faints within me. And my heart within me is desolate. I remember the time past. I muse upon all your deeds. I consider the works of your hands. I spread out my hands to you. My soul gasps to you like a thirsty land. O oh Lord, make haste to answer me. My spirit fails me. Do not hide your face from me, or I shall be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning, for I put my trust in you. Show me the road that I must walk, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord. For I flee to you for refuge. Teach me to do what pleases you, for you are my God. Let your good spirit lead me on level ground. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake. For your righteousness sake, bring me out of trouble. Of your goodness, destroy my enemies and bring all my foes to naught. For truly, I am your servant. Tonight's gospel comes from Matthew 22. The same day, some Sadducees came to Jesus, saying there is no resurrection. And they asked him a question, saying, Teacher, Moses said, If a man dies childless, his brother shall marry the widow and raise up children for his brother. Now there were seven brothers among us, the first married and died childless, leaving the widow to his brother. The second did the same, so also the third down to the seventh. Last of all, the woman herself died. So in the resurrection then, whose wife of the seven will she be? For all of them had married her. Jesus answered them, you are wrong because you know neither the scriptures nor the power of God. For in the resurrection, they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are like angels in heaven. And as for the resurrection of the dead, have you not read what was said to you by God? I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is God, not of the dead, but of the living. And when the crowd heard it, they were astounded at his teaching. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Gospel Canticle, please join me in reading the bold print. Lord, you now have set your servant free. To go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior. Whom you have prepared for all the world to see. A light to enlighten the nations. And the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the, was beginning, in the beginning, is now, is now and, and will, be, will be forever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. We entreat you, O Lord. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. We entreat you, O Lord. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We entreat you, O Lord that there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. We entreat you, O Lord. 
that we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat you, O Lord that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. God, tonight we lift up to you all healthcare workers, everyone who works in hospitals and medical clinics, in our country and all over the world. We lift up to you in particular uh, places, uh, hospitals that are beginning to feel too full and overflowed, overflowing. We lift up to you our public officials, those who are uh, relying on wisdom uh, to uh, make laws and provide guidance for the sake of all people. We lift up to you church and civic leaders that they may be supported and cared for, and that all of these people may be guided by God's wisdom in this time of difficult decision-making on behalf of their communities. We lift up to you those who are isolated and lonely, uh, those whose jobs uh, make them feel unsafe and, and who experience a sense of sacrifice in the work that they do. God, we pray for your general blessing of, of sustenance and healing for all people at this difficult time. And now, friends, let's join together in praying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, Our Father who art in who art heaven, in heaven Hallowed, hallowed be, be thy name, thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, come, thy will, thy will be, be done, on earth, on earth as, as it is in heaven. In heaven. Give us this, give day, this day our daily bread, bread. and forgive, forgive us, us our trespasses, trespasses as we as forgive, we forgive those, those who trespass, who trespass against, against us. And lead us, and lead us not to temptation, but deliver, deliver us, us from evil. For thine is the thine kingdom, is the kingdom and, the power and the power and the glory, and the glory forever, and, forever ever. and ever. Amen. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Amen. At this time, I'd like to share with you a YouTube video of the hymn, It Is Well With My Soul. It's sung for us uh, by the, the Wartburg College Choir, uh, one of the ELCA's colleges uh, in Waverly, Iowa. Um, they sing for us, It Is Well With My Soul. I put the words to this hymn into the bulletin that I sent out earlier and that also has a link on this video uh, that you can sing along if you'd like or uh, just read along so you can uh, focus on the words. But uh, let's enjoy this together.
Please join me in prayer. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness. To us and to all whom you have made, we bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love. In the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. As we conclude tonight, I invite you to share God's peace with uh, those you are with tonight um, and or call up friends, family, and wish them God's peace. But thanks for joining together for this evening prayer service. Uh, we will have worship Sunday morning at 10 o'clock um, here on Facebook Live uh, for Palm Sunday. Uh, so I hope you can join us and I wish you a good night. Thank you, Erica, and thank you, everyone. Good night. Good night.